Hey everyone, this is Atig and today we're going to see the improvement of inclinometer repeatability which is available on the BIN uh, device Wilo High Ink 15B and also the BIN device Wilo X Ink for static mode on the firmware version 4.1 and above. This video will be divided into two sections. On the first part, you will see an overview about the sensor repeatability for the static mode low duty cycle and alarm measurement mode by doing a benchmark between the two firmware version. In the second section, you will see how uh, the available software filters are working for dynamic modes mostly on the streaming mode so let's get started so in this section we will do a benchmark between the 4.0 version and the 4.1 so we will see two bin devices high ink 15b on the first one we're gonna install a previous ver firmware version which is the 4.0 and on the second one we will install uh, the new firmware version which is the 4.1 and we will compare the repeatability on each device so this is for the 4.1 firmware version and here the second one which coming with uh, the 4.0 the previous firmware version so the repeatability is the peak to peak value in low duty cycle mode that's why we will put our bin devices working uh, on low duty cycle then we will compare the results Now we will open two different charts for each device. And now you can see that the repeatability was improved on the firmware version 4.1 and the peak to peak value is lower and much better than the old version. Now we will move on to the next section to evaluate the filters for the dynamic modes. Navigate to online data analysis tab and pick from scroll down list all the following filters are used to reduce the noise and shock impact on the signal. For the average filter, we have some restriction, such as the filter will be applied only if the peak to peak value is higher than 0.1 degree. For example, we will pick the Chibichev filter, then we change uh, the number of points to manual in order to get the graph instantly. Now let's configure our bin device on streaming mode and let's see the results. This is the end of our video, thanks for watching.